I have a special announcement before we start this video. I started my Patreon, the link is down below. And aside from special videos, one-on-one -on -one calls, live chat, I am giving away every time there is an airdrop that I do earn because of referral link, so thanks to you, the same person that did grow this YouTube channel, if I do receive an airdrop because you sign up with my bonus, I will be splitting the referral links and I will be splitting the airdrop and give it out to my followers. So I want to give back to you and I think this is the best way to get people and give back to people because you made me eligible for airdrop. If I have an income or an earning from this airdrop, I want to give something back to you. So the link is down below. That's the main perks of the Patreon as well as exclusive videos, live chat, live calls, uh, live streams, exclusive, you know, before we send it on to YouTube, there's going to be videos. There's all only video dedicated to that, but we can talk about it. But the main perks I want to give back to you. And I think this is the best way. So the link is down below. It's only $4.99 a month. And if you wish to join, you also have the possibility to enter all of our airdrops that we receive. Let's get into the video now. And there are a quite a lot of airdrops that we did not talk about and some updates. So we jump straight onto the laptop over here. And the first one is from Kinsa Finance. Now, we talked about Kinsa Finance. It is a lending and borrowing protocol with the BNB as a support tokens and the link is down below if you want to join this They have some very exciting updates. First of all, they partner with Babylon as you see here Which will innovate is LST and LRTS with support for both Ethereum and Bitcoins as well as another exciting partnership with Rainso protocol which will be supporting the Rainso LRT is Ethereum on Kinza Finance for borrowing and lending. So this is the first BNB airdrop that we're gonna see backed by Binance Lab which will be listed on Binance which we did talk about for month and month and the airdrop is gonna come either Q1 so within the next week or Q2 of 2024. So there is still point to grind, there is still time to grind the points for the airdrop so make sure to go and do it. It is not a free airdrop. You either lend and borrow BNB token, USDC token, USD token. I made a dedicated video to it for my strategy as well, which we'll talk about more in the Patreon down below. What is my strategy for all this? Of course, it is no financial advisor, it's just what I do with such an airdrop. But next up, we talk about the StarCraft Foundation. Now here, they have a long statement about the pool stakers, the review of the situation for the airdrop. So they say over here that while they have been waiting for an update on the provision distribution status of three subcategories that were eligible for StarCraft provisions but not trouble but had trouble gaining so they did fix all of this if you are a non bv StarCraft user who were identified as a bv users bv users and a pooled staker so they fixed all of these problems that they had and now it is time for them to go and claim the airdrop allocation. So if you are part of it, make sure to go and check again on their actual page. Next up, we got an update from Data Ownership Protocol, DOP. Now we did farm this. This was a free airdrop to go and farm throughout 2023 and at the beginning of 2024. And now you have the possibility to vote. So if you were a testnet user, which if you follow my channel, you were because we did do it together, you have the possibility to go and vote on the distribution as we see over here of the uh, distribution of the testnet participant and private sale contributors this is your chance to influence how the testnet exclusive sale round will proceed and you can go and vote make sure to cast your vote by the time this video is out you probably have a little bit over you know 10 minutes 15 minutes so if you have the notification turned on you will be in time for getting this airdrop so also for the future make sure to get a notification turned on. Is it important for the airdrop? No, it's not. If you don't vote, it is not important. You, you will still get the airdrop for testnet user without the problem of, you know, not voting for this. Do not worry. It's just if you wanted to be part of the community a little bit more. Next up, we got the Linea Week 5 quest is out. It's available to go and complete as we see over here. Make sure to go and join it. The link is down below in order throughout the video. You will see the links and this one. So what happens with this one is if you complete all of them or part of them, you get LXP points. LXP points will then be converted into the Linea token. And as we see over here, a couple of months ago, I had one 1,400 and something, now I got 1.6 thousand. Now, if you did go and do the testnet of that game, which now I don't remember the name, but there was a game which we played in the Linea ecosystem. If you did do that before, uh, you know, when we said to do it, it was free to do it, it was a game that you had to play. 
you now have the token in your wallet. And this LXP token will then be the same for the LXP drop, for the linear token drop. You will receive point in the LXP token over here by completing all of these quests, which are very, very affordable in terms of transaction price. We're looking at the one and a half dollar, two dollars. So we're not looking at something crazy. So make sure to go and do it. The more LXP point, the more linear token allocation you will get. And the link is down below. Next up, we got a new update on the Taiko quest. There are some new questions. This is the answer, C, A, C, D, D. These are the five answers for you to go and implement, which you will find over here. One thing important though, when you get into the Taiko with the link down below, you get redirected to the Galax quest. Make sure to also, aside from doing that, go onto the Taiko official page over here. So if you are on any of the pages, simply click the Taiko icon over here. You will be redirected to their main page and go and do this quest. So you have three quests, as you see, so three different quests for you to go and do it. Simply go and do them all because I redirect you to only one of them. Test out if all of the others are also available to do it. And if they are, make sure to go and do them all if you haven't done them yet. Next up, I want to talk about the urgent StarkNet allocation. So the StarkNet has given 40 million Stark token to DeFi protocols to give back to the community over the next six to eight months, which means airdrop. Now, I know that a lot of you probably don't like StarkNet because of the airdrop allocation that we didn't receive back in the days, but now is the time to go if you want to join the project. It is gone down. It hasn't crashed to zero. So it is a solid project with people behind it, even though the airdrop was not distributed properly. Now they are distributing 40 million star token throughout their DeFi protocol, meaning that if you interact with them, just like Kins at the beginning of the video, lending and borrowing, if you do testnets, if you do quests, you're going to be eligible to receive part of this 40 million star token. If you want to join, I think it's a good time now to go and enter the StarkNet ecosystem if you didn't participate in the airdrop. Next up, we have an update from the Polyhedra, uh, you know, airdrop that we did receive. I was actually qualified to earn 20 ZK token, yet they're trading at two and a half, five dollars. Is it worth it? Considering that you have to spend $40 in transaction fees because it's on Ethereum, they decided to give a 10% upgrade for all the allocation, meaning that if you had 20 tokens, you now have 22 token. Yes, no, is it pointless at this point because wow, well, you're still spending $40 in transaction fees to only make $5 more? I don't know. It sounds weird. This is only for people who are 20 ZK token or less. So you're still, with all the gas fees, if you claim at the wrong moment, you're still gonna lose money for claiming an airdrop. So I don't see the point of it. I did, however, got five token in the Binance uh, smart chain for some reason, but it was one of those unexpected airdrop that we did receive. So make sure to go and check it for yourself, as well as the Zeta chain week eight. It is now live. The week eight for the Zeta chain quest is now live. We did participate in week one, week two, and week three throughout the channel. Then I stopped utilizing it because it was getting, as I saw from my followers, too much expensive. So. Make sure if you wanna, if you are into it, if you were doing it, make sure to go through the link over here, also the link down below, and make sure to go and complete it all. Absolutely, yes. But with that said, guys, thank you very much for the video. As we said, we did participate, we did start our uh, Patreon page over here. So if you wish to support, thank you very much. I try to make it as cheap as possible, four ninety nine a month. If you wish to join, you are legends, and I really, really do appreciate it. With that said, thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you all in the next video. Ciao, ciao.